Good morning, everyone. Our opening song will be For the Fruit of All Creation. For the fruit of all creation, thanks be to God. For the gifts to every nation, thanks be to God. For the plowing, sowing, reaping, silent growth while we are sleeping, future needs in earth safekeeping, thanks be to God. In the true reward of labor, God's will is done. In the help we give our neighbor, God's will is done. In our worldwide task of caring for the hungry and despairing, in the harvest we are sharing, God's will is done. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, my brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. As we gather at this Mass, we pray in a special way for the repose of the soul of Larry Grace and the special intention for Maureen Louch. Gathering our prayers into one, let us recognize our sinfulness before our God and turn to him for mercy, for he is full of gentleness and compassion. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at God's right hand. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who show the light of your truth to those who go astray, so that they may return to the right path, give all who for the faith they profess are accounted Christians the grace to reject whatever is contrary to the name of Christ and to strive after all that does it honor. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the first letter of Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, knowledge puffs up, but love builds up. Anyone who claims to know something does not yet have the necessary knowledge, but anyone who knows, but anyone who loves God is known by him. Hence, as to the eating of food offered to idols, we know that no idol in the world really exists and that there is no God but one. Indeed, even though there may be so-called gods in heaven or on earth, as in fact there are many gods and many lords, yet for us there is one God, the Father from whom all things and for whom we exist, and one Lord Jesus Christ, through whom all things and through whom we exist. It is not everyone, however, who has this knowledge. Since some have become so accustomed to idols until now, they still think of the food they eat as food offered to an idol, and their conscience being weak is defiled. So by your knowledge, those weak believers for whom Christ died are destroyed. But When you thus sin against brothers or sisters and wound their conscience when it is weak, you sin against Christ. Therefore, if food is a cause of their falling, I will never eat meat so that I may not cause one of them to fall. The word of the Lord. Guide me, Lord, along the everlasting way. Guide me, Lord, along the everlasting way. O Lord, you have searched me and know me. You know when I sit down and when I rise up. You discern my thoughts from far away. You search out my path and my lying down and are acquainted with all my ways. Guide me, Lord, along the everlasting way. For it was you who formed my inward parts. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works. Guide me, Lord, along the everlasting way. Search me, O God, and know my heart. 
Test me and know my thoughts. See if there is any wicked way in me, and lead me in the way everlasting. Guide me, Lord, along the everlasting way. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. If we love one another, God will live in us in perfect love. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to his disciples, I say to you that listen, love your enemies and do good to those who hate you. Bless those who curse you. Pray for those who abuse you. If anyone strikes you on the cheek, offer the other also. And from anyone who takes away your coat, do not even withhold your shirt. Give to everyone who begs from you. And if anyone takes away your goods, do not ask for them again. Do to others as you would have them do to you. If you love those who love you, what credit is that to you? For even sinners love those who love them. But if you do good to those who do good to you, what credit is that to you? For even sinners do the same. If you lend to those from whom you hope to receive, what credit is that to you? Even sinners lend to sinners to receive as much again. But love your enemies, do good and lend, Expect nothing in return. Your reward will be great, and you will be children of the Most High, for he is kind to the ungrateful and the wicked. Be merciful, just as your Heavenly Father is merciful. Do not judge, and you will not be judged. Do not condemn, and you will not be condemned. Forgive, and you will be forgiven. Give, and it will be given to you. A good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over, will be put into your lap, for the measure you give will be the measure you get back. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. May the words of the Gospel wipe away our sin. Amen. There are some times when Jesus speaks that you hear it and you think, I don't understand what he actually is asking. And then there's other times where unless we're actually deaf, it's very clear what Jesus is asking. Today is the latter. If you want to be my disciple, this is the criteria for which you are to follow. Luke chapter 6. This is very difficult. At least for me it is. Maybe it's easy for you. Love your enemies. Pray for those who persecute you. When people take from you, don't ask for it back. Let it go. This isn't just referring to material things. When people take away our integrity, gossip about us, say hurtful words, let it go. Just like that annoying Frozen song. Let it go. Right? Why must we let it go and let God? It is so vitally important for us to understand God does not wish to have us shackled to anything. St. Paul talks about idol worship, where I place anything or anyone before God. That's idol worship. It's not just worshiping statues and these kinds of things. When I worship money or work, my spouse or my kids before God, everything must be second to our relationship with the Father. And when it's not, problems arise. When God is number one, things always work out. Why? Because he is the source of all life. He's the one who never betrays our trust or our love. Notice it says, um, he is kind to the ungrateful and the wicked. If God is kind to the ungrateful and the wicked, how much greater will God show his love and compassion to those who are faithful? God can never be outdone in his generosity. And so he invites us to attempt to show some of the love 
that God has for us. But if I am not God-centered, I can't do any of these things. Love your enemies, allow those who take advantage of you to carry on. Isn't revenge, anger, frustration the natural human response? But with God, all things are possible. And so it is the Lord who is lifting us up, who carries us, who invites us into a deeper understanding of knowledge, the knowledge that St. Paul is referring to that is very different from this world. How many times has a good Christian follower said, oh, I'm not going to let it bother me, and others might say, why not? I can't believe this isn't bothering you. That's not worth it. What do you mean it's not worth it? They just, they did this to you. They did that to you. They stole this money from you. They talked smack about you. That's yeah, not worth it. Wow. To become mesmerized. Why should we be mesmerized? This is what Jesus tells us to do. And so it is so important that we follow what Jesus commands. We want to be happy? Do as Jesus says. We want to be miserable? Let's do it our way. For indeed, Jesus is the secret of all happiness, all joy. He is very clear to us today. Who are the people you need to love? Who are the people I need to love? Who are the people we need to forgive? What are the things we have to let go of? Today is the day. Let us pray. As brothers and sisters in Christ, we are called to build each other up in faith. Therefore, let us bring to God our prayers, not only for ourselves, but for others too. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for our seminarians of our diocese. May God richly bless their studies and give them wisdom and courage as they discern the priesthood, we pray. Let us pray for community leaders. May the Lord inspire them in acting with mercy and love, we pray. Let us pray for those who are lonely, isolated. May the Lord fill them with his presence and give them consolation, we pray. Let us pray for all students and teachers as the school year resumes. May the love of God direct their hearts and light in every step, we pray. Let us pray for an increase in vocations to the priesthood, religious life, and the diaconate, especially in our great diocese, we pray. Let us pray for an end to the spread of the coronavirus, for all those affected by the virus, that they may be healed by Jesus, the divine physician, for researchers to find a vaccine, for all medical and frontline workers, that they may be kept safe, and all those who have died as a result of the virus, and their families that are left behind, that God may be their comfort and peace, we pray. In thanksgiving for the finding of the tabernacle yesterday, and it, that God will show mercy to those who stole him from the Cathedral of St. Catharines, that we may continue to be instruments of God's mercy towards others as we live today's gospel, we pray. And let us pray for all who have died. We remember especially Larry, the holy souls in purgatory, and all who have died. May they enjoy eternity with the risen Christ, we pray. And for all the intentions we hold within the silence of our hearts. Father of love and mercy, we praise you for your goodness. In your kindness, please hear these petitions we bring before you through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread which we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. By the mingling of this water and wine, we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine which we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. 
It will become for us our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord. May our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, of my iniquity. Cleanse me of my many sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Amen. Look upon the offerings of the Church, O Lord, as she makes her prayer to you, and grant that when consumed by those who believe, they may bring ever greater holiness through Christ our Lord. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just and do our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you have laid the foundations of the world and have arranged the changing of times and seasons. You formed humanity in your own image and set us over the whole world in all its wonder to rule in your name over all that you have made and forever to praise you in your mighty works through Christ our Lord. And so with all the angels we praise you, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. My Lord and my God. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. My Jesus, mercy. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Gerard, our Bishop, and all the clergy and religious. Remember your servant, Larry, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her husband, with your blessed apostles, with Saint Paul, St. Catherine of Alexandria, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. My brothers and sisters, the peace of the Lord be always with you. Turn and offer one another a sign of the Lord's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us your peace. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who by the will of the Father and work of the Holy Spirit, through your death gave life to the world, Free us by this, your most holy body and blood, from all our sins and from all that is evil. Keep us faithful to your commandments and never let us be parted from you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. May the blood of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. For those at home receiving Jesus in a spiritual communion, I invite you to pray. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Friends, as a reminder to come to communion, we wait till after you say the word amen to remove the mask from your face and we receive Jesus on our hands. Thank you.
Let us pray. Having consumed these gifts, we pray, O Lord, that by our participation in this mystery, its saving effects upon us may grow through Christ our Lord. Let us turn to our Blessed Mother as we pray. We fly to thy protection, O Holy Mother of God. Despise not our petitions and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, amen. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Friends, just an update about the tabernacle from the cathedral. By the grace of God, it was found yesterday. It was dumped in an old canal in St. Catharines. The good thing is, as Bishop hopes, is that because it was in a body of water, that hopefully the Blessed Sacrament would have just dissolved. They found one of the front doors of the tabernacle, but not the second. So we just got to pray a little bit longer that St. Jude helps us to find the other tabernacle door too. Now it's greatly damaged, but of course it is of great value to us because this is God's house. So let us continue to pray for the uh, protection of the Blessed Sacrament and also for, that God will give mercy to those responsible. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Let us go forth in the peace and love of Jesus Christ. For the harvest of the Spirit, thanks be to God. For the good we all inherit, thanks be to God. For the wonders that astound us, for the truths that still confound us, most of all that love has found us, thanks be to God. Have a good day, everyone.